Greenwood man is going to prison after pleading guilty to securities fraud. The court documents show that Lee Wimmer took more than $3 million of investors' money and lied about it. 7 News reporter Ann Maxwell spoke with one of the victims. Carrie Turner has dealt with a lot of loss over the past year. Her husband Chip died of cancer last November after a seven-year fight. At the end of Chip's life, they learned that the man he trusted with their savings, worth hundreds of thousands of dollars, was a fraud. He couldn't believe it. That was what he had for his children to go to school and to make sure that we were okay. Court documents show Lee Wimmer established Cornerstone Capital in 2007. About 25 clients trusted him with $3.6 million to invest. His investors lost more than $3 million. Carrie was skimming Facebook when she saw an article about Wimmer filing for bankruptcy. Gut wrenching. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. The Turners had no idea they were getting ripped off. Carrie says they received statements like this from Cornerstone Capital every month and then every quarter. They showed significant gains, sometimes five figures, but it turns out they were fraudulent. Carrie says her family will be okay. She can still work. It's the senior citizens who lost their retirement funds who she says are really hurting. I'm blessed. We'll be, we'll be able to take care of ourselves, but. I don't want him to ever take care, I mean, take advantage of anybody else, ever. We were unable to reach Wimmer, but his attorney tells us he has been forthright about what he did. In a statement, he said, quote, he has accepted the responsibilities that come along with those choices and will forever regret what occurred to everyone that was impacted by his actions. He will also work as diligently as he can at the appropriate time to right any and all possible wrongs from those that he has negatively impacted. In Greenwood and Maxwell, 7 News. Earlier this week, a judge sentenced Wimmer to 75 months in prison, ordering him to repay more than $3 million to the investors when he's released.